Hey, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we saw the basics of setting up the FCR and getting it running to help us find and engage targets. In this video, we'll be showing you how the FCR prioritizes targets, and we'll also show you how it looks when the bad guys shoot back. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. FCR Basics Part 2 is coming right up. All right, so you can see this scenario here. We're on the Nevada map. Um, we are at a hover behind a mountain. We've got uh, eight T-72s out here. No, I'm sorry, BTRs. Eight BTRs out here, but we also have a couple of ZSU-23-4s. Uh, so we're going to uh, see how that works and how the FCR prioritizes. Um, and, uh, hopefully it prioritizes the air defense over the BTRs. So, actually, what we're going to do this time is we'll pop up, we'll do the scan, we'll remask, and then we'll launch missiles from behind the hill. And we'll see how they, how they, uh, Let's uh, site select FCR, change acquisition source. You know what? Everything's right off the nose. I'm just going to go fixed. It's just that way things not fall on my head around. And uh, this time, uh, I'm going to go into a continuous scheme. So... See with the continuous scan, it's green bar. All right. So at this uh, altitude, we are not seeing anything. Let's uh, go ahead and turn off the altitude hold. And come on up. Lock the screen, lock my uh, track bar right there. Just start that slow climb. Let's see when it starts to pick up. We'll mark out the two. Okay, it's starting to pick up. That was at uh, about 480 AGL. I'm going to keep coming up just a little bit. We're not in range of the ZSUs, so they won't be shooting at us. Turn it off for a little bit better picture. But, um, we can see now that it's picked up all those BTRs as well as the two Z issues. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a single scan. All right, so the single scan is complete. Now we're going to come back down, remask. So I've come up a little bit high, kind of exaggerated. Um, we don't need to be this high. Honestly, we just need to be high enough to unmask the radar itself. Uh, maybe what I'll do next time around is I'll put a Roland out there, which will definitely start shooting the moment it sees me. I'll go ahead and pause missile while we're waiting. And, alright, so we are definitely below the mask, right? We can't see them. They can't see us. And just to uh, demonstrate that, let's get George up. And 
and see if he can see. Aircraft's arm. And slave. Out he slave. Okay. George is not fine. Right? So, we know that we are masked. Uh, go back to the TSD. Alright, let's start lobbing missiles and see what happens. Here we go, rifle. Somehow I feel like I fired a bunch of missiles and they didn't all go where they were supposed to go. So I fired seven missiles and I got three kills on, yeah. So I don't know. Was that the result of stale data? Maybe. But. You would think that, I, I mean, I didn't delay that long. I just delayed long enough to mask and then started launching missiles again. So, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, unmask one more time. We'll do a continuous scan and we'll launch a missile. We know we got to get up about under, under four so before we start seeing bad guys. The moment it picks up the targets, I'm going to launch myself. Got to keep climbing. There it is. Missile away. Where it goes. Is it gonna go after something we've already hit? No, it looks like it's going after a BTR. It's, the thing is, it should have prioritized that ZSU, and it did not. Let's try this again. I think this will be the last time I try it, because. Only so many times I can fail at something before I get uh, annoyed with it and <laughs> need to take a break. Yeah, you know, there are, um, with the other nations out there that do have uh, air to air capability, you would think that they would allow for that. Because, I mean, it's really, it's the U.S. model doesn't. Right. John, I think you guys have the, uh, is it the Star Streak missile on yours? I don't recall. Missile. So I saw it prioritized. Ooh. All right. It prioritized the air defense. I saw that. There we go. All right. Success. Fine. <laughs> that makes me happier. We were able to get the um, 2S6 knocked out of commission. So that works. That's good. Or at least it worked that time. Like the save. Nice.
All right. So then engaging the rest of the BTRs is, is easy now that that 2S6 is out of commission. That, that is the hard part. So, so that's it for this video. We saw that although the FCR is working for us, it's not perfect yet. But hey, it's still early access, right? Hopefully soon, Eagle Dynamics can work through the bugs and make it even better. As it is, it's a fantastic tool that makes engagement so much easier and more fun. I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces with a team of Apaches to see what it can really do. I appreciate all the support. The last video did tremendously well, for me anyway, and I can't thank you all enough. If you feel so inclined, please leave a like or comment below and subscribe to see future videos on this amazing helicopter. Or catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 64D to watch my live streams. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.